This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice announced that the Division of Natural Resources is beginning a five-year project to reintroduce bobwhite quail in the southern part of the state. I mean, we have a few quail in our state, but really and truly we lost, for all practical purposes, we lost our entire quail population in the winter that uh, Governor Rockefeller sent, sent everybody home because the terrible blizzard was coming. The governor also signed the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act into law. I stand for life in all cases, all the time. You know, but this is standing for life of the born. You know, it is just unbelievable to tell you the truth that we have to do such a thing but at the same time, you know, we should be really proud. The West Virginia Tourism Office unveiled their new travel guide featuring many of West Virginia's stunning vacation destinations. State government leaders and health officials met to discuss preparations for novel coronavirus disease 2019, also known as COVID-19. Governor Justice presented a $50,000 check courtesy of the governor's one-shot hunt to go towards the Hunters Helping the Hungry program. March was recognized as both Red Cross Month and Bleeding Disorders Awareness Month. The Herbert Henderson Office of Minority Affairs and the Women's Commission kicked off Women's History Month in West Virginia, and the Governor's Art Awards Ceremony was held at the Culture Center. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.